scripture tonight is going to come from Psalms 113 and 4 and Psalm 67 1 through 5 mm -hmm. and these are going to be prayers reflecting our nation I think our nation needs some prayer Psalms 113 and 4 says Lord God your word says that you are high above all nations and your glory above the heavens. We live in a nation of many different creeds and convictions and ethnicities and backgrounds, but we know that you love and reign over all of us. Please let the ways, in Psalm 67 and 2 says, please let the ways we exercise our freedoms reflect your holiness and your compassion, that your ways may be known on earth your salvation among all nations. Okay, so we would like to reflect our prayer on our nations. Our nation is a troubled, troubled nation today. There's so much going on that, that our nation needs prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, God of the universe, God of the nations, creator of mankind, Father, we come this evening praying for our nation, America, Father. America, it seems that it is falling behind, Father. Seems like sometimes the devil has bottled up this whole nation. We have so much crime, so much hatred, and no love, it seems, sometimes in this nation. And we are a nation with a lot of ethnicity. And we want to pray for all <coughs> that we all love each other, where well, we can be strong because a divided nation cannot stand. We pray, dear God, that you will come and touch hearts today in America and help us to be prayerful and help us to believe that the word of God is the truth and the way and the life. Because without following your word, Oh God, our nation will be in trouble. And tonight, dear Father, we pray mightily for this nation that is called America. Yes. And we pray for all of these leaders of this nation, dear Father. Well, this nation is divided up into so many states. And we pray, dear Father, for all these governors, or we pray yes. for the all these House of Representatives in all these states and nations, and we pray for Washington, D.C., which is the head of the country. We have Congress up there. We have the Senate up there, dear Father. We, we, we have the Justice Department up there. All these different things there for this nation, Father. And it seems like, dear Father, some of these people are corrupt. And we know that this will not only tear our nation apart, but it just will give our the enemy a threshold. Yes. Oh, Father, and a footstool. And that is Satan, dear Father. So we pray this evening for our country because we have relatives here. We have children here. We have grandchildren here. We have great grandchildren here. And we want them to grow up in a nation of love and unity, yes. dear Father. We don't want them to grow up with hatred because we're a different color, we're a different creed or a different religion. Yes. So please, Father, watch over this nation. Watch over the leaders of this nation. And we pray for more leaders that are Christian believers in you, O God. We ask this in Jesus' name, our Savior and your Son. Amen. Amen. Oh gracious master, we come to you once again. 
We just want to thank you for another day that wasn't promised to us. Amen. We thank you for your unconditional love, my Heavenly Father. Yes. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. My Heavenly Father, we come tonight just asking you to touch this world right yes. now, my Heavenly Amen. Father. We know that this world is in trouble, my Heavenly yes, Father, yes. and it's because of the choices that people make. Mm -hmm. It's not because of you, my Heavenly Father. You gave us free will, my Heavenly Father. Yes. You gave us free choice, and we keep making these choices, my Heavenly Father, that go against you, my Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. My Heavenly Father, we ask you to touch the nation right now. We ask mm -hmm. you to touch America right now, my Heavenly mm -hmm. Father. We just ask you to look down on all the... Uh, the House of Representatives, my Heavenly yes. Father, we ask you to look down on Congress right now. We yes. ask you to start at the top, my Heavenly Father, with the President. Yes. You know what each and every one of them are going through, my Heavenly Father, in their personal life. And sometimes those things that are going on in their personal life trickle down, my Heavenly Father, into the rules that they make and the, the bills that they pass, my Heavenly yes. Father. Just touch their hearts right now, my Heavenly Father. Yes. My Heavenly Father, we just need you to touch Touch each and every one of their hearts. We're not just saying touch Democrats. We're not asking you to just touch Republicans. We're asking you to touch them as a whole, my Heavenly Father. Yes. Open up their minds, my Heavenly Father. Pour into them right now, my Heavenly Father. Because you know that if you pour into them, they can be changed, my Heavenly Father. We have a lot of them that say that they're Christians, my Heavenly Father. And yes. they say that they walk the walk that you walk. But we know by what they're doing, my Heavenly Father, they're not doing what no. you have in store for us, my Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. Just open up their minds, my Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Let them know that you are not pleased with the things that they're doing, my Heavenly Father. And that they need to change, my Heavenly Father. And not yes. only just change for change for the better, my Heavenly Father. We're just asking you to look down on us right now, my Heavenly Father, because it starts here, my Heavenly Father. It starts in your church, my Heavenly Father. Help us to be the men and women that we need to be so that we can go out into the community and be the people that we need to be. And then it just filters out, my Heavenly Father. Yes. Let us know what that we need to do so that we can be better people so that we can be examples, my Heavenly Father. I just praise you for what you're going to do, what you've done, my Heavenly Father. You've yes. blessed us so much, my Heavenly Father. Just touch our homes right now, my Heavenly Father. You know what each and every one of our homes are in, in need of. Yes. Touch everyone that is on their way here, my Heavenly Father. Touch these chairs in this room right now, my Heavenly yes. Father, that they can be filled, my Heavenly Father, that Bethany yes. can yes. become a church of prayer, my Heavenly Father, that we can start that Bible study, my Heavenly Father, where people can come and learn your word, my Heavenly Father, and get fed, my Heavenly Father. We just praise you right now for yes. your darling son, my Heavenly Father. We just thank you for just being who you are, still being on the throne, and still being in control of this world. Yes. I just praise you right now. I thank you for all that you've done, all that you're going to do in your darling son's name. Amen. 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 I think I see Luanda pulling up. Okay. Or backing in. Mm. I, need to, I need to have them in here to get started because y'all got to talk tonight. We got to talk. Y'all got to figure something tonight. Mm. Uh uh uh. I don't need you to do that or pass. I'm gonna pull my coat out and put it on. Let me get my tablet right now. God damn it. I sure would have felt bad if I'd asked you to come by here for nothing. God damn it. I caught myself looking at it. It good. I moved my coat, but I didn't move it enough. Moved it in the wrong direction. 
Man, I got him on TV telling my business. Uh uh, you didn't. Oh, you haven't started yet? No, but I'm saying you didn't go to. to. Why is my cameras offline? Yeah, I heard some complaints. People saying that I was in and out. Well, there are people at my house. And now all of a sudden my cameras are offline. Oh, you're talking about your home camera. Mm hmm. I thought you were talking about that camera. Mm hmm. In my home camera. This is on now? Yes, I'm not. My, uh. You can't be taking me like that and don't tell me I'm on. You're on! I got some of that, I guess I got some of that, uh. No, Pollen, something like that. Hay fever or something. Oh, yeah. It's that time of year, man. Yeah. All right. You got this pill in everything. Yes, sir. You gotta talk to me today. Okay. Right. I got a question for y'all. Oh. oh, there she is. You started the camera? Yes, sir. The question I got is what does God think about you? Hmm. <laughs> what does God think about you? That's the question I want y'all to answer for me today. What does God think about you? Chastity Queen! Y'all say Chastity was coming. I told y'all you Chastity was coming. That was speed. Uh uh. She said I was speed. I got another one coming late. I think they came just so they wouldn't have to pray. <laughs> I'm a prayer warrior now, Pastor Hank. Ooh, right now. Bam. You're the last one. You better be a prayer warrior. You're going to have to pray out. Come and ask you. I got a. I'm starting off with a question. I'm trying to wait till y'all get this. I keep saying it over and over. Think it's real. Y'all think it's real. It wasn't coming. I told y'all she was coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. The changes is good. Hot dog. Are you going to be the one behind that? Or last one? Question. Question. My question to start us off. Y'all got to talk tonight. Everybody got to answer the question. You know, since y'all wait. What does God think about you? Ah, uh, yeah, they got you. They got you. What does God think about you? It's easy. That's easy, huh? He gave his son some things. What does God think about you? God thinks she a work in progress. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Linda said, uh, Linda Stewart said, I can serve him better. That she can serve him better. All right. What about you, Ed? Well, see, the one that said it away because um, God thinks that, I think, yes, He loves us, like she said, but I think He really, he really made a mistake. <laughs> by, <laughs> God made a mistake. God, well, yeah, God, he, <laughs> well, you know, he was, he, for one while now, he was going to wipe us out, but. Well, y'all, that was Israel. Yeah, well, they can't wipe them. Well, yeah, I, I have, okay. I'll say, <laughs> I'll say uh, you know, like, God thinks that he, he looks at, he has to look at us now. Through his son's blood, because that's the only way that we are here today. Because uh, he sent his son, his love was so great that he sent his son. Because I'm sure you're talking about it in the day session. Yeah. Turn to First Peter, chapter five. Mm -hmm. Want 
try to read all the way from 5 to verse 21. Acts page 21 is the last one. The whole chapter. Uh -uh, I said you started verse 5. Well, you can read the whole chapter if you want to. It might help you. You said 1 Peter chapter what? Uh, one eye Peter. That may keep you better. Right, that, read that. That, that trunk, man. One eye Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 5. Okay, it says, uh, 1 Peter 5 says, I'm going to start with verse 5. It says, You younger men follow the leadership of those who are older. And all of you serve each other with humble spirits. For God gives special blessings to those who are humble, but sets himself against those who are proud. If you will humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, in his good time he will lift you up. Let him have all your words, your cares. Put, put, put a pause right there. What does God think about you, Miss Erzberg? Ah. Uh. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm one of his child and pupil and vessel and I'm doing his will. How about that one? <laughs> no one can think about it. It's a good thing. What? Whatever it is, it's a good thing. Keep reading, man. <laughs> 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 uh, it, says, uh, it, says, it says, be careful, watch out for attacks from Satan. Your great enemy, he prowls around like a hungry, roaring lion, looking for some victim to tear apart. Stand firm when he attacks. Trust the Lord and remember that other Christians around the world are going through these sufferings too. After you have suffered a little while, our God, who is full of kindness through Christ, will give you his eternal glory. He personally will come and pick you up and set you on firmly in place and make you stronger than ever. To him be all power over all things forever and ever. Amen. You want to keep reading? Is that the end of the chapter? No. I am sending this note to you through the courtesy of Silvanus, who is, in my opinion, a very faithful brother. I hope I have encouraged you by this letter, for I have given you a true statement of, of the way God blesses. What I have told you here should help you to understand firmly in his love. The church here in Rome, she is your sister in the Lord, sends you her greetings, so does my son Mark. Give each other the handshake of Christian love. Peace be to all of you who are in Christ. Read the last verse again. The last verse? Uh, okay. First Peter, this is the last verse says, Give each other a handshake of Christian love. Peace be to all of you who are in Christ. You show crucified that verse when it is told in that yeah. Read verse 21 in your Bible. Okay. Your what? Verse 21. First Peter 5. Verse 21. Verse 21. Verse 21. Verse 21. Verse do you have 14 verses? That's yeah. all. That's it. Uh -huh. What does verse 14 say? That's what I said. Greet each other with a kiss of love. Peace be with all of you. The King James says with a holy kiss. Last time. You're talking about a handshake. Last <laughs> 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 said with a kiss well, of charity. Well, you know, COVID, baby. Last kiss of love. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and COVID. <laughs> I mean, it ain't nothing like the same thing. Chester looked up and saw me and said, No, I don't want to kiss him. Let's shake hands. <laughs> uh, second Corinthians, second Corinthians. Two Corinthians for you, yeah. Trump supporters. <laughs> <laughs> Two Corinthians. Chapter 5. <laughs> What'd you say? Start at verse 1. Let's read that chapter. It's got 21 chapters in that bad boy, I bet you. <laughs> well, we know that if our earthly house 
This tent is destroyed. We will have a building from God. A house not made with hands. Eternally in the heaven in the heavens. For in this we go we groan earnestly uh, deserving to be clothed with our habitation which is from heaven. If indeed having been clothed, we shall not be found naked. For, for we who are in this tent groans, being burdened. Not because we want to be unclothed or further clothed, that mortality may be swallowed up by life. Now he who has prepared us for this very thing is, is God, who also has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. Okay, wait. So we are always confident, confident in knowing that while we are at home, in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, yes. We are pleased, rather, to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Therefore, we make it our aim, whether present or absent, to be well pleasing to Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body, according to what he had done. He he had done. Whether good or bad, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we pursue me. But we are well known to God, and I also trust as well known in your conscience. For we do not command ourselves again to you, but give you opportunity to boost on behalf that you may have an answer for those who boost in appearance and not in, in heart. But if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. Or if we are sound-minded, it is for you. For the love of Christ compels us, because we judge us. That if one died for all, then all died. And he died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Therefore, from now on, we avoid no one according to the flesh, even though we have known Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Passed away, behold, all things have become new. Now all things of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ Jesus, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation, that is, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not in putting their trespass into them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are an ambassador for Christ, as though God were pleased through us. We import you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. You crucified that word reconciliation. <laughs> I was trying to say it. She said reconcile, but she was, couldn't get that reconciliation out of that one. She crucified that bad. I word. know I won't crucify some kind of word. You did good. I was surprised you got it close. You got it. Okay, what? <laughs> Read verse 21 again. 21, 21. I can't hear you. Oh, 21, 21, 21. Oh, 21. That's the last one. <laughs> oh, but he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Anybody want to amend the answer? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I amend that first part of it. God 
knows everything. Mm -hmm. He knows you better than you know yourself. Mm -hmm. But the one problem most people have is they don't give God credit for being as positive as he is. God does not judge you according to your mistakes. He judges you according to your potential. He doesn't look at you the way you are. He looks at you the way you are going to be. Hmm. So that verse 21 pretty much tells you how God sees you. Hmm. What does verse 21 say? It's chastity. <laughs> For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we could be made right with God, so that we could, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. So that we could be made what? Right through Christ. So God made us so that we could be made right. righteous through Christ. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what your Bible says? Mm -hmm. So then how do you think God sees you? A sinful person. <laughs> <laughs> Read 21 again. Everything I just said, man. Just <laughs> down in the toilet, man. Well, he, had to look, he has to look at his son. If he had if you don't look at his son, that's the way he sees us. That's why he Read verse 20. That's right, Joker. Oh, all messed up. Oh, no. <laughs> read, read, read verse 21 then. Let me see what it said to this. It says, For God took the sinless Christ and poured into him our sins. Then, in exchange, he poured God's goodness into us. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mess it up quite as much as you did the other one. <laughs> what does that say? For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us. That we might become the righteousness of God in him. That we might become the righteousness of God. That we might become the righteousness of God. God let Jesus take on our sins so that we would take on his righteousness. So God wants us to take on the righteousness of Jesus. How does God see us then? Chastity? Righteous. Righteous! Don't be scared. <laughs> righteous God sees us as righteous why because we take on the righteousness of Jesus Christ we're not righteous because we're righteous we're not righteous because we don't sin we're not righteous because you hate your enemies <laughs> we're righteous because the righteousness of Jesus Christ y'all feel me God sees us the way God sees us. God sees us as being righteous, as low down and no good as Michelle is. God sees her as being righteous. I got my suspects about you. <laughs> he doesn't say every, he's talking about the ones who say that. Hmm. All right, read verse uh, 8. Let's look, we're, in, we're still in 2 Corinthians. <laughs> <laughs> read verse 8. Yes, we are fully confident, and we would rather be away from these earthly bodies, for then we will, I'm sorry, hold on. And we would rather be away from these earthly bodies, for then we will be at home with the Lord. Read verse 5. God himself has prepared us for this, and as, and as a guarantee, he has given us his Holy Spirit. Uh, that's first five, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, second, second Corinthians. Second. Five. five. Read verse 9. So whether... We are here in this body or away from this body. Our goal is to please him. Read verse 12. <laughs> we, are, we are commending ourselves to you again. No, we are giving you a reason 
to be proud of us so you can answer those who brag about having a spectacular ministry whether start at verse six what what <laughs> <laughs> we are you, hold on the, i'm in the new trans i know you got a messed up translation <laughs> i'll switch it i'll switch it i'll switch it hold on start at verse six okay therefore we are always confident knowing that we'll we are at home in the body we are absent from the Lord, and we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, oh, I'm sorry. and willing. Turn to First uh, Peter chapter five. One of Peter chapter five, verse six. <clears throat> Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you. In due time. Keep reading. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Okay. Who resist that? Let me keep on going. Oh, that's, that's okay. Amazing. Y'all, where's that verse? That verse in uh, 2 Corinthians talks about clothe. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Start at verse 2. So, what did it say? Uh, five and two says, How willing we grow in our present body. That is why we look forward eagerly to the day when we shall have heavenly bodies, which we shall put on like new clothes. Okay. Yeah, that better translation still don't say what I want to say. <laughs> what you, what you. For in this we grow, earnestly desire to be clothed with our habitation which is from heaven. Indeed, yeah. having been clothed, we shall not be found naked. See, yours, yours is more accurate on that one than the other. Mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He's talking about clothes, but he's not talking about Chastity going in a closet. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. He's talking about clothes. He's talking about a different kind of clothes. Mm -hmm. He's talking about being clothed. With uh, that, we'll talk about the Ephesians six. You ought, to, you ought to be the have on the. What's the word you use? Oh, um, armor. Armor. Oh, of God. Okay. Yeah. She sounded like she don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> 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 Put on the whole armor. armor of God. We're talking about that. So we're talking about clothes. We ought to put on our godly clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Godly clothes. Huh? Now let's go back to that. Uh, one I Peter chapter five, verse six. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in, in due time. Keep reading. Chasing all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vengeful, because sure of average, the devil wants it. See, like sober and be what? Vigilant is the word you're trying to cross over? Vigilant. Okay. Vigilant. I can't pronounce it. That's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to mess with you. That, I got to get that word because I'm trying to show you something. Okay, which one you want? This is serious. Keep reading. Oh, okay, keep going. Okay, like a royal lion seeking who he may devour. Resist him, still fast in the faith, knowing that the same suffering are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. So may the God of our grace 
who call us that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Okay. I said when God sees you, he sees you as being righteous. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> huh? Mm -hmm. When God sees you, he sees you as being righteous. So when Paul, as Peter taught, when Paul writes in Corinthians, Paul says, well, God sees us as being righteous. So then you ought to see yourself as being righteous. But what does that thing say in Corinthians 6? He says, the devil goes around like a roaring lion. What, what is he trying to do? Okay, let's back up. God sees you as righteous. Mm -hmm. So then you need to see yourself as righteous. Right. God sees you as righteous. So you need to see yourself as righteous. God sees you as being righteous. So you need to see yourself like God sees you. God sees you as righteous. So you need to think God thoughts. God sees you as righteous. So you ought to see yourself as righteous. But here the red had a hard time coming out with that. All y'all had a hard time coming out with righteous. Because you always think about the stuff you don't do. Well, who do you think plant that junk in your head? The devil. The devil. That's his job. Mm -hmm. He don't want you to see yourself as righteous. He wants you to see yourself as mm -hmm. contaminated, flawed, mm -hmm. messed up. Mm -hmm. He said the devil goes as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Mm -hmm. But you ought to see yourself as right. Sunday I'm going to talk about that. I don't change it. Mind maintenance. Mind maintenance. Because what Paul is telling you is that you got to be careful what you think. You got to be careful what you, as a man thinking in his heart, in his heart so is he. The devil, the greatest battleground you're going to face spiritually is the battleground of your mind. He wants to control your thoughts. God says, in order for you to be who I want you to be, you got to think God thoughts. God is positive. God is looking for the best. God does not look at you the way you are. He looks at your potential. He looks at what you're going to be. He looks at what you're going to become. He says, I want you to think God thoughts. God thoughts. So if I want to think God thoughts, I got to do what? Think God. What? Think God. If I want to thank God, then what do I do? I need to read God's word. word. If I want to know how God thinks, I ought to see God's word. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. That's God's stuff. Mm -hmm. We're the head, not the tail. That's God's stuff. Blessed is the man who walking out in the counsel of the ungodly, but standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of but his delight is in the law of the Lord. That's God's thoughts. He says, be so. I like that word. One of the translations says, be alert. You got to be on God. Because just because you're trying to think God's thoughts don't mean that you're going to think God. No, it's just the opposite. When you're trying to think God's thoughts, the devil is trying to do everything he can to change your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. He says, so you got to be sober. You got to be alert. When the devil trying to snatch that God thought away, you got to say, slap him upside the head, get away from me, dear. get behind me, Satan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm God's child. I'm, I'm, I'm righteous. I'm not righteous because I live perfectly. I'm not righteous because I think right. I'm righteous in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't it ain't about you, it's all about Jesus. Y'all feel me? Yes, now, now see, if, if I'm going to think God thoughts, I got to do things God's way. Mm -hmm. God said I got to love instead of hate. Mm -hmm. I got to treat people right no matter how they treat me. Mm -hmm. That's God's thoughts. 
He says, I can't be thinking God's thoughts so I can think I'm better than anybody. Mm. See? See, I'm righteous, so I'm better than any red. Mm. No, no. The minute I try to do that, I commit a sin. Yeah. I mess it up. <laughs> That's letting the devil come in. He said, no, no. Jesus don't think like that. You have to think God thoughts. With God, he always thinks positively. So, so he says, if you're a child of God, you humble yourself. You don't exalt yourself. You're not trying to make yourself look better than nobody else. You humble yourself and you wait for God to exalt you. I remember in his upper room, the disciples messing with him, talking about, uh, who's going to be the greatest in the kingdom? What did Jesus do? What did Jesus do? In the upper room, when the disciples said, one's going to be, who's going to be the greatest? When the joke said, one on your right side of the other. What did Jesus do? Not that what did he say, what did he do? He, he, he had to be a servant. He, he said, washed yeah. feet. He took a towel. He took a towel. You're right too, but you ahead of yourself. <laughs> I want you to see, see, see. Sometimes we're so busy talking about what he said, we forget about what he did. Mm -hmm. See, you don't just talk it; you got to walk it. Mm -hmm. When his disciples bragging about who's going to be the greatest in the kingdom, Jesus takes a towel and washes their feet. What did that say then, Chastity? Anybody? Uh -huh. you have to be a Catch that word servant. Oh. Oh. Catch the word servant. He, he took a towel and washed their feet to demonstrate service. service. To demonstrate being a servant. And say, so if I'm willing to wash your feet, you should be willing to wash one another's feet. See, probably a lot of folk, you know, they pretend they're servants, but they ain't gonna serve nobody else. <laughs> I'll serve folk I want to serve, but I ain't gonna serve nobody who hate me. <laughs> he says, he says, in the world. The great people, the ones who tell people to go and they go. Tell them to come, they come. Tell them, bring me something, they bring it to you. He said, but the kingdom of God is not like that. In the kingdom of God, if you want to be great, you must be a servant. Okay. So he says, if you humble yourself mm -hmm. with God, God will exalt you. Mm -hmm. You're not in the business of exalting yourself. You're in the business of humbling yourself. Why? Because I want to be like, I want to be like Jesus. I want to humble myself. But I believe if I'm great, I'm going to be a servant. I wait till he exalt me. I'm not going to exalt myself. I'm going to keep serving until he raise me up. I'm going to keep doing good until he gives me the okay. I'm going to keep doing right until he gives me the credit. Because sometimes when you do right, people don't give you the credit. They get the credit to somebody else. Hmm. Yep. Say, that ain't your business. Because hmm. you don't do right for the credit. Mm -hmm. You do right because it's right to do yeah. right. Y'all yeah. yeah. feel me? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what he said? He said, I have to be on guard. Alert! I gotta be on guard. I'll be careful to not allow the devil to snatch my good thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I got to mind my thoughts because what? I'm thinking God thoughts. And the devil doesn't want me to think God thoughts. The devil wants me to think devilish thoughts, yeah. worldly thoughts, yeah. bad thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what Paul said. Every time I decide to do good, <laughs> what happens? <laughs> Evil is present. He said, the devil walks around like a roaring lion mm -hmm. trying to snatch your thoughts. Hmm. The devil walks around like a roaring lion trying to change your thoughts. 
The devil walks around like a roaring lion trying to get you to diminish yourself, to stop thinking God thoughts and start thinking worldly thoughts. Mm -hmm. Stop thinking God thoughts and start thinking devilish thoughts. Mm -hmm. Devil already lost. We know he, we, we the winners. We know what, what's going to happen to him. He's going to be thrown in a lake of fire. Mm -hmm. He the loser. But he keeps trying to make you think like a loser. Y'all feel me? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So he's not in the pits now? No, not yet. No, he's wrong with it. He's running there trying to mess with you. He's y'all didn't know that? He's the king of the world. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He did give me. Okay. He has dominion over earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's trying to mess with people on earth. He's trying to get you to get in his spot. He's trying to make you act a fool like he acted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's trying to get you to betray God like he betrayed God. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get you to stop thinking godly thoughts like he stopped thinking godly thoughts. You're supposed to think like God. Think like God. Think like God. If I'm going to think like God, I got to read God's word. If I'm going to think like God, I got to soak up God's word. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He making me to lie down. In green, he keeping me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He keep me in the path of righteousness. Why? For his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I feel no for what? Thou art with me. And see, Brandon, I, I don't have to try to do it all by myself. He says, if I'm struggling to think God's thoughts, then the same God who told me to think God's thoughts was going to help me to live godly life. Because mm -hmm. see, one thing people think, they think that if I, if I say I'm righteousness, they're trying to say that I think oh, I ain't got to do no work. I'm all right. I ain't got to do nothing else. <laughs> you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the Jews thought. Well, that's the problem. He said, he said what you got to understand is there's no way I can think God thoughts without God helping me mm -hmm. to think God thoughts. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can fight, struggle to be like God without God helping me mm -hmm. to be like God. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can live for right and righteousness without God helping me to live for right and right. I can't do it by myself. Oh, yeah. But I don't have to worry about the devil messing me up. Because as long as God is here, I have help. I have hope. Y'all yeah. see where I'm coming from? Y'all yeah. feel me? Y'all yeah. see the struggle? Yeah. I'm going to talk about mind maintenance. Yeah. Suddenly, y'all act like y'all heard none of this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like God. I want to be like God. I want to think God thoughts. I want to think holy thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now don't think because you want to think holy thoughts, the devil ain't gonna mess with you. Oh. <coughs> the first thing he do at him is show him a picture of a naked woman. <laughs> what y'all laughing at? He thought you a naked man. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I can't do nothing with it. Well, if if, if the devil well, I know what you're saying. I shows me you're saying. A, a naked woman, oh. my mind is 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 wanting to go in the wrong direction. What do I have to do then? You got to see. Just because I see a naked woman, don't mean I got to think the yeah. wrong yeah. thoughts. Yeah. See, I can see a naked woman and say, "Yes, I know what the devil is trying to do." Yeah. But I rebuke you, Satan. Get that out of the way. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's cool. I want to think like God. I want to be godly. Mm -hmm. Now, that don't mean sometimes you ain't going to mess up. Because sometimes it's red, red. really. <laughs> 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 no, I, I don't do nothing but grow tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> What he said, he says, but he, but I'm gonna still fight to think God thoughts. I'm still fighting 
<laughs> to be on God's side. Yes. Y'all feel? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but I'm yeah. trying to get you to see. The devil can get you to mess up and try to make you wilder in yeah. your mess ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And God don't want you wilding in your mess ups. Don't see the mess ups. You see what God is going to do with you. Yeah. The positive, the potential, the improvement. That I'm, I'm not just a conqueror. I'm more I'm than a, a conqueror. conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror mm. through him that loved us. Mm. Y'all feel? Yeah. Mm. It's a fight. It's a fight. Mm. But it's my fight. That's what I do. I keep my mind on godly stuff. Now, what you gonna do? I gotta keep my fight on. I gotta stay on God. I got to yeah. guard my mind so that I'm thinking godly thoughts. See, ooh, that's mm. powerful. Yeah. He said, how close I am to God, how strong I am as a Christian depends on how vigilant, the word she don't like, how vigilant I am <laughs> fighting for my God thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> fighting for my thoughts, making sure I got positive thoughts. The devil is trying to throw the other stuff in there, but I'm fighting, I'm fighting. Yeah. I'm fighting for my Godly thoughts. That's what I said, if you ever in a long line and you get tired of waiting, you ever get stuck in traffic and you don't want to wait? I mean, cars just stop like a parking lot. Yeah. And you want the cars to move. You know what you do? Open up your Bible and start reading. <laughs> move it. Start reading. <laughs> start reading, them. Start reading them, that Bible. And you see how the, the devil doesn't want you reading that Bible. Yeah. Why? Because that's God's thoughts. Mm -hmm. You don't want God feeding into you. You don't want God's word finding its way you plant seeds in you. Or he'll be, see, he's trying to he trying to stop that traffic to get you upset, to get you to cussing and cussing, <laughs> irritated. But right, you aren't reading God's word. Oh, wait a minute, I don't want that. I went to Brom trying to find me something to eat. I mean, it's long left. I grabbed my Bible, open it up. I go there sometimes. I go straight up, but I go there at three o'clock. Right <laughs> I couldn't go straight up today. Had like seven, eight, nine cars ahead of me. Mm. I grabbed my Bible, opened it up, started reading. I mean, it's almost like the devil saying, Get out of the way. Well, I knew it. I met the speaker. I ain't never seen a line move that fast. <laughs> that joker took my money. And before you could take that money, they was trying to hand me my bag. On my <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start doing it. Everybody got your food ready. <laughs> Say what? Everybody got your food ready as soon as you pass the money. Huh? I mean, they ain't, they ain't used for them because you have to wait. Yeah. We know. But it didn't happen today. Y'all think I'm playing. This stuff is real. When the devil is seeing that you're trying to Think God thoughts and you guarding your thinking. Mm -hmm. You're alert, you sober, mm -hmm. you fighting for your thoughts. Mm -hmm. You fighting to be more like God. Mm -hmm. He's gonna mess with you. Mm -hmm. He's gonna mess with you. That's why he's messing with you. Mm -hmm. See, if the devil ain't messing with you, something wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ain't fighting hard enough. If the devil ain't messing with you, because you ain't thinking the right kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Why he gotta mess with you when you thinking like he think already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why you got to think, uh, get you to persuade you, and you all you're doing is spreading negative stuff. Mm. Gossiping, lying on folk. Oh, yeah. Trying to pull people in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to mess with you, you on his side. Mm -hmm. But when you say, for God I live, for God I live, I'm going to thank God thoughts. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God. I'm righteous because of the righteousness of Jesus Christ that Jesus died for me in spite of me. Mm -hmm. You don't like that. Y'all feel me? Yes, I am. Did that help you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so I got to I got to preach a Sunday for them jokes that don't come to Bible study. So y'all suffer through it again. I'll put a little wrinkle in it so y'all don't go to sleep. Because <laughs> the devil won't try to make y'all go to sleep. Mm -hmm. 
Instagram. I don't like Instagram. Instagram got all that negative stuff. Me and Instagram, this little, this little young boy went to his granddaddy. He said, Granddad, I want to be successful. Give me your formula for being a successful man. Granddad took him out in the woods and got two little plants, baby trees. Took one and he planted one in the yard outside in front of the house. Took the other one, put it in a pot inside the house. And years later, the boy, a teenager, boy came to him. The Paul, Paul, you know, I asked you that question. You never did answer my question. He said, look at the tree. Inside how I looked at the tree. Inside how many that tree was tall, man. The top of the tree was hitting the, the seal. He said, man, that tree grew. He said, now go look at the tree outside. Look at the tree outside. The tree outside was taller than the house. Wider, stronger. Thicker, the trunk of sticks, the roots, big, just running all over the place. You say, where do you see that? So you see how the tree inside is smaller than the tree outside. on the outside. Mm -hmm. It all might be like that. You say, because the tree inside. It's protected from the rain and the cold and the wind, all the bad weather. The tree inside got a perfect climate. It ought to be the one that grows the strongest. You see, that's what you learn about life. The tree on the outside is the one exposed to all the elements, the wind, the rain, tornadoes. It's the one that's got to go through the storms. So you're going to find in life, when you're always trying to put or choose the easy way out, mm. you'll never be as strong as you will if you choose the hard way, the difficult way, mm -hmm. the wrong way. That's deep. I like that. Y'all better be glad y'all got a good job. <laughs> Questions, comments. That's deep. Well, I like to answer that question. God seems to be right. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. So I guess I did some good today. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a good answer. Don't forget yeah. that. As long as you live, you remember that. Yeah. Not only do you remember that, spread it. Mm -hmm. oh, spread it. Now, that's what I'm going to be asking for. Well, how does God see you? That can make a big difference. You know, some people don't think they nobody love them. Mm -hmm. Nobody care about them. God loves you. Oh. God cares you. God sees you better than you see yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Questions, comments, sick report. I mentioned earlier that uh, Sam Freeman said he, he don't think he wants to have that surgery, so y'all pray for him. That God either spares him or give him the guts to go through with the surgery. Um, Sister Bennett's back in uh, rehab. Mm -hmm. So y'all pray for her. Mm -hmm. Still trying to eat fried chicken or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to get people smuggling in the wrong kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all do the same thing when y'all in there. Sure will. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, 
But you know why they don't put no seed? Because you really have too much seed. <laughs> now it's all the, when you put salt while you're cooking it, it don't take as much as it does trying to season it after it's cooked. Mm -hmm. And then you end up hurting yourself. <clears throat> Anybody else? Sick report? An announcement? Sunday is Easter Sunday. Right. No breakfast at the church. <laughs> no program for the youth. Just 8.30 Sunday school. 10 o'clock Sunday morning service. Around 11 o'clock or so Dynamic Sunday. I want to apologize for lying Sunday and saying I was going to preach 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I went a little bit longer. <laughs> but it was my intentions to preach 15 minutes. It just, mm -hmm. I got carried away. Mm -hmm. But I did, I did, I did intend to do 15 minutes. I'll watch my watch. <laughs> Say what? I said I missed it. You I missed it. You need to watch that. That was a good sermon. I don't care what nobody says. Especially the testimony about my brother is the best part. The one you talked about last week? Yeah. Yeah, I had I saw them these young people. I was supposed to be through about twenty till I couldn't stop. But I hadn't told the sermon about my brother and I started telling it. And I saw even the teenagers, the young ones, they just looking at me. On the edge of their seat. So yeah, it's worth it. Is he home? No, he's still in the hospital. Still in the hospital. Yeah, he's doing a lot better now. Oh, a lot better. I got to ask him, what does he think God think about him? I'm going to post it tonight. You well, I'm going to post it. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. Mm -hmm. Don't mess up my son's sermon. I'll wait. No, 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 wait. Somebody, somebody might need it tonight. They may die. I'll post on my Instagram. I'll wait. You can tell me what your pastor say. All right, then. Let me see. We got to have our closing prayer and benediction. The last two people walked in here was Chastity and <laughs> the Holy Spirit. <laughs> she said the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Michelle and the one. And the one say she don't worry about praying. That ain't no problem for her. The one say she she got it. What's that? Oh, okay. Excuse oh, me. <laughs> So we ain't got no trouble getting the closing prayer tonight then. Oh, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let out. In the words of Brother Ray, too many. <laughs> <laughs> when well, he was kissing us, we can be before. We were ahead at 8 o'clock. Well, we were. <laughs> they don't fall now. But say y'all willing, y'all show money quiet. Oh. <laughs> Father God, we come to you tonight asking you for your grace and mercy. We thank you, Father, for gathering us here tonight in order to learn and be able to absorb your word, Father. We ask you to give us more strength and trust in you, Father, putting you ahead of our life and putting you ahead of our wills, Father. We ask you to touch the sick and shut in, guide them, and let them know that anything is possible with you, that you are a healer, you are a provider, Father. We ask you, Father, that something is done in a mighty, special way Sunday, that someone can bring their souls to you, Father. We pray for traveling grace back home, and we pray for more abundance to spiritual teachers, Father. We ask these things in your Son, your marvelous Son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you.